Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider Hello everybody and welcome to Freakin Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to create the Into the Spider-Verse invisible effect and um, for making this the only thing that you're gonna need is basically a uh, footage film on a green screen because you want to isolate the character from your background but if you don't have any right now you can just use any kind of PNG or transparent image from Google so that you can you know try this effect out and so which is pretty cool and actually really easy to do it will blow your mind how easy it is to do this effect. So I'm gonna use uh, this footage that I have from a film that, that I started making some years ago and I will just take a clip until here more or less and I'm just going to make now a very very quickly green screen basically take the selective color effect and in case you wonder what the hell am I doing right now I have a very complex uh, tutorial on making some really good green screen which you can check out I will leave just here uh, a card so that you can click something really quick just like that okay so we're going to be working with this and I'm going to look at the final result and I'm going to be using uh, this background over here just like that and just so that it matches the color of the girl I'm going to take the greens a little bit down alright just like that so for making this effect this is really easy to do you first of all want to duplicate the layer and make only one visible and what you want to do is get this effect called find edges and you want to invert it and then you wanna get a curves effect and try to adapt it so that you can only see you know very basic detail I think around there more or less looks nice and we want to get this into screen mode just like that and we can see that this already looks pretty nice and we want now to duplicate this effect over here two times and we're gonna get a shift channels effect actually I should I should have applied this first but doesn't matter and we're gonna make that effect that I always do in most of my tutorials which is taking the which is separating the channels basically full off blue full off and we do exactly the same thing with this one full off full off all right so now we have the same image but separated in three different channels and what we want to do now is taking the position of all of them and just displacing it a little bit horizontally so maybe we can add maybe two on this one and maybe 64 on the other one just something like this if you think that's too much I think that looks nice actually I'm just going to leave it like that we want to pre-compose this pre-compose we're gonna call this edges RGB and we have to again put it on screen mode and now we're gonna use this one that we have over here and I'm just going to duplicate it once again with only one visible I'm gonna have to throw it on top actually you know what I'm, I'm going to leave it there and we want to look for the threshold effect this one and we want to you know highlight basically the shadows and so and we want to put this into screen mode and get a curves effect and we want to get the red down and also the green so that we only have the blue although I can barely see it to be honest but anyway what we have to do now is taking the opacity and taking it down 
until we can barely see it, something over there, maybe even less, maybe 10% will work out. And if you want, you can use a Gaussian blur effect so that we don't have those sharp edges. Something like that. Actually, I'm going to leave it at 5%, just like that. And also the the one on top, we can put it maybe at 70 or even 60, just like that, all right? And we want now to get this one over here. And what we want to do is create a new adjustment layer. And we want to use this as a mat. So we want to come over here and click on Alpha Mat. And we're going to take this Gaussian Blur effect. So that what it does is that it blurs what is behind our, our girl. So as you can see, this is the same way that it was done in the movie. This is up to you. You can put maybe 20 or if you think that's too much, maybe just 10. I will we'll leave it around 16 or less. I think it looks nice over there. And if you want, additionally, you can take a um, displacement map effect. Just over there, we can use our the, the same layer of the girl and take it from luminance and just displace it a little bit so that it looks even more realistic and I'm gonna take the edges effect and actually I'm going to go down to 30 something over there looks nice and now, for making the appearing effect, because this is already the, the final effect, let's say, I'm going to leave it 50. What we have to do now is taking everything. Um, actually, you should duplicate the girl's layer once again. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to take all of this and we want to turn it on. And you should look for the spot exactly when you want it to happen. So I'm just going to look over here when she actually spins her shuriken and so. And what we want to do now is create a new solid. Create, um, I remember how it was called. Fractal noise, that was it. Uh, over here. I want to take the contrast, put it really, really high. Maybe some more complexity and... What was it over here? Scaling it down somewhere over there. And we're going to take this and put it as a luma mat. And what we want to do now is taking the fractal noise and taking the brightness uh, all the way up putting a keyframe there and just keeping a couple of frames just I think three maybe four will do and go all the way down just over there so we can see that we have that dissolution effect you can add another Gaussian effect over here, Gaussian Blur, so that it's not that sharp. And that was it. That's exactly the same invisible effect that we can see in the Into the Spider-Verse movie. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, that you find it helpful, and if you didn't, well, I hope that at least you find something new 
that you could use in your future projects. And I really hope that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and leave me a comment on what should I do later if you want to keep doing some more tutorials about Into the Spider-Verse movie or whatever. Just let me know and I'll see what I can do. So thank you very much for being here with me and I really hope to see my next tutorial. So, see ya!